I have an article here. It relates to the Queen's speech in 1953. Her, corona her coronation speech. And with all the research, with all the work and the research that I've done in relation to trying to understand the difference in the all uppercase text and the proper recognised English, the grammatically recognised English text, whereas the all uppercase text is just not recognised in any form of um, the English written text. There's another anomaly that I have come across in her coronation speech in 1953. And I think that um, some of these trusts that have been set up for us to enter into or to fall into which is something that <laughs> fall into or enter into at our own free will well, sometimes when we've been deceived or been a thing called double speak we've been subjected to a form of double speak we may not have entered into these uh, so-called trusts quite as voluntary as they assume us to have entered into. And in the 1953 Queen's coronation speech, there's a section here where she uses the word insincerity or sincerity, but placed it with an in in front of it. But when she speaks the word, as you can see, as you can hear here. I have in sincerity pledged myself to your service, as so many of you are pledged to mine. As you can see, the word in sincerity or in sincerity, either way, whether the word is in and sincerity or in sincerity is one word, either way, it sounds like in sincerity. Now, this is a section, this is a, an extract from the speech, but it's, uh, it's just one paragraph. You can, get this, you can get this online now. But back in 1953, it was probably a little bit hard to. Um, to get the transcript. So even in this transcript that we have here, as you can see. The ceremonies you have seen today are ancient, and some of their origins are veiled in the mists of the past. But their spirit and their meaning shine through the ages, never perhaps more brightly than now. I have in sincerity pledged myself to your service as so many of you are pledged to mine. Throughout all my life and with all my heart I shall strive to be worthy of your trust. I've used the word in and sincerity as two separate words. We'll get to that in a minute. This section goes, the ceremonies you have seen today are ancient and some of their origins are veiled in the mists of the past. We'll just stop there for a second. Veil means a covering, hidden, hidden to the, to the plain to see. So already the Queen is making a statement that some of these, that this speech derives from ancient hidden meanings in the past so she's telling you already that this is to be very careful but their spirit and their meaning shine through the ages never perhaps more brightly than now and here it is here's the very part that I'm concerned about she says I have in sincerity pledged myself to your services as so many of you are pledged to mine 
Well, that's setting up a trust where she becomes the first trustee and then we become the trustee of her, which is a switch, which is a conversion. Throughout all my life and with all my heart, I shall strive to be worthy of your trust. There's a trust set up. It's a trust law. But the disturbing part about this is I have in sincerity pledged myself. Or is it? I have in sincerity pledged myself. When it is spoken, it can't be distinguished. It can't be deciphered, whether it's in sincerity or insincerity. <laughs> so I went onto the Webster's dictionary in relation to how this word sincerity is to be used in order that it be clear and not be confusing. And it is used as in all sincerity. So when you're using the word sincerity, it's always used as in all sincerity in order to not be confusing with the word insincerity. See, insincerity and in sincerity sound too much the same. It could be confusing or it could be a, a form of doublespeak. So if the Queen and her speech writers of the time had so much access to the grammatical ability of English, the, gram the grammar science, the grammars, uh, the people that that know more about grammar than any of us put together, you would think that she would have the ability, uh, given all of her access to such uh, English speech writers, that they would make sure that they use the words in that speech in a clear, precise way. So if the clear, precise way was to say, in all sincerity, she pledged her trust with us, as we've pledged into her, she said, in sincerity, I have pledged my trust, which really means not sincere. She has not been sincere, sincere in pledging her trust. So even in 1953, when she put on the St. Edward's crown, which was different to the crown before, and I won't go into the crowns because I think that um, Stephen Spears his research on, on in relation to the crowns is at a great depth. So I would recommend looking at Stephen Spears' work that he's done on the crown, just to see exactly what the Queen had done in 1953 when she placed the St. Edward's Catholic crown upon her head. I mean, was that the end of the Church of England Church here in Australia? Or was at the end for those who remained with her realm. The problem with the Queen being insincere about making her speech would mean that the trust that she set up the Crown Corporation that acts as the first trustee and she's the first trustee and as so many of us have become trustees of the Crown. If this Crown Corporation was set up in a form of doublespeak or fraud or at least um, confusion in a form of confusion then that would make the whole City of London the bar, all the courts, the High Court of Australia, High Court of Britain, the Corpus Juris, the European, European Union, the United Nations, all corporations in the world, it would, it would mean that they've been based on a lie at the very beginning in 1953 where the Queen said, in sincerity, she pledged her trust. 
I have in sincerity pledged myself to your service as so many of you are pledged to mine. Meaning of pledge in law, a thing that is given as security for the fulfillment of a contract or the payment of a debt and is liable for forfeiture in the event of failure. He had given the object as a pledge to a creditor. Synonyms, surety, bond, security, collateral, guarantee, deposit, pawn, gauge, earnest. So what did you pledge in this hidden secret contract? Your rights, your sovereignty, your birthright, your share of the mineral and energy wealth of this country you were born on, your God-given rights, your independence, your right of directive power over the administrator of your estate, your children, everything you owned as a man, you remained a child. So if she pledged herself to our service, but used the word insincerity, and not in all sincerity, then that means the trust is fake, false, untrue. A quasi. It means that she has been insincere. It means as the first trustee, she's saying she can't be trusted. And that's disturbing. If a contract was set up in a form of trickery, deceit or doublespeak, being a deception, such an act of deceit has the potential to destroy the contract from the very beginning. If it was discovered that the original intent was not made in all sincerity.